look at this place with all the wall art and the brightly colored furniture and I will say the coolest menu I've ever seen. It's set up like a newspaper. It's got all of the different dishes they serve but also the history of their restaurant, the history of Arab food and just fun facts about for instance the benefits of eating lunch. <laughs> really cool menu and um, one thing on the menu to be clear caught my eye. The camel burger. You guys know me and burgers and first time ever eating camel meat. I would say. But first things first, we learned a little bit about Emirati food from the menu. Uh, evidently, camel has been eaten by the Arabs for like centuries and centuries, although this is the first restaurant to ever introduce the camel burger. Wow. So in this iteration, it's unique. But camel is a staple food for Emiratis as well as seafood. Because for centuries and centuries, uh, these people were fishermen. Yeah. And then once the oil boom happened, things sort of changed, but uh, traditional Arab food from this part of the Arab world, yeah. camel, goat, and seafood. Yeah. To be uh, precise, it's traditional Emirati food. Emirati food. Yeah, Emirati food. Because yeah. Emirati people, uh, they live close to the Arabian Sea. That's why right. they were fishermen for centuries. So they have lots of seafood on the menu and also camel meat. But this restaurant have a modern twist and make it into a burger. Very so nice. Cannot wait to try it. And actually on the menu is um, shark. Yeah. But unfortunately sold out. They said it's hard to get shark nowadays. It's sort of, right. you know, there's some controversy there. But would have loved to try a shark steak. Right. That sounds interesting. Yes. That being said, this whole place is like a uh, former Emirati house. Yes. So you can see the way it's designed with the doors and there's almost like bedrooms and things happening around us. Feels like we're in someone's house who's just super rich and has really great taste and fancy. Yeah. Feels like a fancy I love house. It. I love the colors, the popping colors here of the design and I would say you blend in with that yellow. Looks good, right? <laughs> yellow, pink, blue, green, it's all so colorful. Very it's colorful. It's so pretty. Really great restaurant. I will say my expectation of camel would be similar to maybe yak ah, from northern Pakistan. Right. I think it's going to be much more uh, lean compared yeah. to beef. It's like an athlete. A camel, we've we've ridden camels in India. Mm -hmm. These things are super athletes, super massive, super powerful. I think it would be similar to a yak. Mm -hmm. In the way the yak is used for farming, the camel was used for centuries to right. like cross the desert and like uh, you know, a way of life for the Arabs. Right. I so heard uh, most of the camels now, they're imported from Australia. Is that funny. right? Yeah, yeah. Because Australia has actually a problem with like, they have too many camels. Yeah. So rather than kill them, they ship them over here. Wow, interesting. Yeah, very nice. So, um, pretty excited. I mean, first time camel meat. And for dessert, we will have camel ice cream. What could be better than that? Oh, thank you. Our drinks have arrived. Okay, a few minutes, we'll eat. All right, the food has arrived. But first things first, let's talk about this restaurant. It really is done in traditional Emirati household design. The proof of that is behind me, there's actual living room. So traditional living room. There's a bedroom over there that they've converted into a tea shop. So they're selling local tea. There's a lovely sign that says, please smell our local teas. So Ivana took a whiff. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. It smells like mulberry or something. Just incredible, this place. The perfect example of what you should always bring your camera with you if you're a vlogger. We were not planning on making a video today. We're just going for lunch. We see a sign that says local house restaurant. We go inside and just amazed by the layout. The wall art in here is incredible. I think it's telling a story. In front of the kitchen, you've got a traditional kitchen piece of wall art. You've got the huge massive one of Sheikh Zaid. May God have mercy on him. You've got this two wall arts beside me that I think must be a traditional greeting. You've got these two men putting their noses together right. as well as these two young boys putting their noses together. This must be telling a story. There's also a woman over there with something on her face that looks metal and shiny and I noticed it might be the same thing that's on this salt shaker. Okay. I think it's a traditional Islamic thing. I haven't seen any Arab people outside wearing this. Uh, women, so maybe that's uh, more traditional than modern, but this restaurant is absolutely fantastic. Amazing. Five stars restaurant. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, that being said, the burger is here. I'm waiting for Ivana for her seafood platter. The reason the seafood platter is taking so long is because uh, they're cooking it on charcoal grill. 
Yes. They said traditional Emirati style is barbecue or charcoal, not uh, gas stove. Right. So we said we're taking a minute to get a charcoal heated up. I said take your time. He said in the meantime, we can give you some homemade um, wine. Wine, not alcoholic wine, but he said it's black grapes and cardamom. He said just because it takes a little long, we'll bring you this. I said this restaurant is so nice. The guy working here is so nice. The place is amazing. Loving it. Let's have some wine. Here's Cheers. to here's to Emirati food. Cheers. Ooh. Actually, so good. Cinnamon. Yes. Like cinnamon, cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg. Oh my god. Tastes like um, amazing. Tastes a bit like mulled wine. You know, remember yes. mulled wine yeah. from it's Christmas time? Sweet. Yeah. Sweet and delicious wine. Come on, should I wait it's for you? Great. You know me and burgers. Should I wait for you or should I go for it? How long do you think it'll take? A couple minutes. Maybe we'll wait for you. <laughs> yeah. I will say this restaurant is awesome. Yes, it's beautiful. I feel like if I was in uh, in a garden, like yeah. Inside garden. You know what I mean? Indoor, like a greenhouse. Is yes, that what you're trying like to say? Greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> like an indoor garden. It's beautiful. Really but great. if we were outside, we would be like burning because it's so hot. Out. Yeah, they've actually got air, air conditioners. Yeah, because it's everywhere. open, the outside, the doors are open. But they've got ACs going. It's cool in here. Local beautiful. house restaurant. Okay. Glad to make a vlog here. I cannot wait for my food okay. to arrive. Next up, Yvonne, I can't wait. Let's get the, okay. let's get the video going. Come on. <laughs> So first time ever yak burger. Ah, I should no. say camel burger. Okay, post for sure. Um, thumbnail, please. Thumbnail. Nice one. Okay. Uh, camel. Should I just have plain camel first? Mm. Wow. How does it taste? Honestly, just like beef. Yak was a little bit different to beef. This tastes just like beef. And such a good looking burger with with egg on it. If you told me that was beef, I would never know. Let's try it. Mm. So? I think it's beef. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes just like beef. Really? It tastes really good. Mm. Also, you can tell it's a homemade patty. Yeah. They put it together with onions and egg and made it all together themselves. Um, Let's be honest, five star burger. Really, really good. The question is, is it better than a yak burger? <laughs> Can't say it's better. It's so funny, the experience of the first yak burger at the Yak Grill, Northern Pakistan, in Pasu, uh, freezing cold outside, this little cabin, amazing experience. And here, totally different, in the desert, in a kind of like a greenhouse, indoor <laughs> garden, um, eating camel, both good. Cannot say it's better than yak, cannot say it's worse. Does oh, really it have good. a certain like smell? You know how goat has a smell, chicken has a smell. No. Honestly, it's so similar to beef. Okay. Yak was a little different. This is so similar to beef. Interesting. Um, it's really good though. Wow. Can I try? Mm-hmm. Can I make it? Let me try it. There is a little bit of a smell to it, but I can't tell. Similar to beef though. Similar to beef, right? Mm -hmm. It might be, it's because it's ground camel, so it's similar to ground beef. Yes, the texture is 100% the same as beef. Yeah. The flavor might be a little different, but the texture is just like ground beef, yeah. where you mix it together with onion and pickle and egg and make your own patty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this. But Good it's got a certain flavor to it. A unicorn. Sure. Can, can you put it right here, please? Thank you. Oh, look at that, Ivana. Ooh, nice. Eating like a queen. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this little crabby. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at this, guys. Oh, Amazing. This is like a fillet fish. You got <laughs> shrimp. You got probably calamari. Uh, mussels, is that? Or. Holy yeah, jumping you gotta help me finish this. This is like a meal for three. <gasps> Good one. <laughs> Good one, Ivana. Wow, Amazing. okay, eat up. Don't be shy. Okay, I don't know where to start. Let me see. So this is the traditional Emirati 
uh, I guess grilled fish. Yeah. Well, let me try. It. And I think it's seasoned. You can see all the seasoning, like green, like chili or. Yeah. I don't even oh. know. Ooh. Look at the meat. Look at that. Grilled Emirati. Okay. Ooh. I think this is. I don't know what kind of fish. I think it's kingfish. Look at kingfish? that. Kingfish. Yeah. Mm. The meat just like melt in your mouth. Nice, right? So good. Charcoal mm. grill. Looks like it's covered in flavor and spices there. Yeah. The more sharp fish, I put extra calamari. Extra calamari. Yeah. Oh. Shark fish. platter. Mm -hmm. And we use more sharp fish. Small amount of shark. Right. Because there's, because there's no shark outside, no? Okay. Keep it for calamari. Uh, thank, you. thank you so much. Okay. There you go. So, because there's no shark available right now, he gave us some extra calamari. Yeah. Super nice guy working here. Yeah. Super nice guy. Super nice guy. Oh. Great restaurant. Look at the food. I would say. Oh. It's like lemon and all the herbs. Just Is it spicy? No, not at all. Lemon, but and I think herbs. If because Steve is not a fish lover, I think this might be a little bit too fishy for Steve. Mm. For me, it's okay. Really nice, really nice flavoring. The spices on top, you can see it. It's just so well marinated. Mmm, really, really, really nice. Mmm, you got some shrimp. Oh my goodness. Grilled shrimp, by the way. You eat the head? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not for now. I think I've never had barbecue shrimp. Really? Have I had barbecue Use shrimp? Sauce? I don't think so. You can try mine. In Malaysia, they always fry. Oh my gosh. This is so flavorful. Yo, your facial expression just changed so much. When I entered your mouth, you got so much happier. I never knew shrimp could be so flavorful, guys. This is the most flavor I've tried on shrimp before. I will, uh, yeah, I will I'll take one of those. I'll clean it. Ooh, you wow. got big Ooh, head. Look at this guy. Look at that. Uh, is it me or is all shrimp in all of the earth the same flavor, or is there different species of shrimp? I think there are different species of shrimp, but <laughs> to me they all taste the same. But this one is really well marinated. You oh, gotta try it. Looks it. good. Yvonne. Here, put this. Oh, I want that. What's the sauce? I have no idea. It tastes very traditional. Here. Mm. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. It might be right? the best shrimp I ever had in my life. Yes. Oh, the sauce is what makes it. Mm -hmm. It's got vinegar in there and it's sour. Ooh. And it's so flavorful. The best shrimp ever, right? I don't know. I don't even know how they marinate it or for how long they marinate. Bad, but it's so flavorful. And there's a certain flavor to cooking on charcoal. You can taste it. All right, next up, calamari. Yo, Ivana, I think you ordered something better than me. <laughs> it looks better. Mm. It's good? So good, Ivana. Mm. Yours is better. Mm. Let's be honest, the camel burger is good, but yours is much better. Yeah, Don't mind if fish. I do. Try the fish. Oh, here's the classic Steve. Can't get the meat without getting all the bones in his fork. <laughs> Always, I'm the worst at this. Hold on, you gotta get some of the spices on top. Hold on. Oh, you're right. Quite fishy. Ooh. Yeah. That's still very good. I could go for more lemon. Lemon is good to kill the fish flavor. That's true. Don't be shy. Um, I will say that this is really good, guys. This is why you always bring your camera. Like I'm saying, we were <laughs> just coming here to stop in for lunch. And I'll tell you what, my new favorite restaurant in Dubai. My first favorite restaurant in Dubai. Right? It's we'll so be coming good. here almost every day. The yeah. food here is amazing. The food is amazing, but I think even if the food is bad, it would be worth it to come here just because of the decor the, of this The restaurant. vibe, yeah, the vibe yeah. is off the charts. It's so great here. You're struggling, Steve. Always, I'm the worst eating fish. <laughs> Full of bones. There's a bone here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Very good, but the shrimp, the best shrimp I ever had. Calamari, incredible. Fish is for you. I will say yeah. this: six stars, Ooh. extra star. The food is five stars, and the ambience gets the bonus star. Yeah. 
So Amazing. this platter costs 110 dirham and this burger costs 50 dirhams, which I think it's pretty reasonable considering Dubai, that's the normal price for food in Dubai, you know? Seems like we've found good value on accommodations, mm -hmm. but the food has been a little more expensive. Yeah. So I think about, it's gonna be 150 for two, 160, that's about fair. Right. And it's really good food. And look Very around, you can't, beat the, you can't beat the restaurant. Yeah, the ambience here. There you have Amazing. it, guys. Okay, let's finish eating, then we'll give our final review. Okay, let's eat. Should I eat the ice? Should I eat the ice? A lot of people say that the ice is the best part. Let me try. It's doing work. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> it's like, it's like, like fatty and a little bit of meat. Fish. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. Wow. <laughs> is that your first time eating ice? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> first time eating fish eyes. There you have it, guys. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think this is clam. Ooh. Not so sure how to eat this. Got sauce already inside. Yeah. Mm. Tastes like the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit rubbery, mm. but it's still good. Sorry, Steve. I'm taking so long to eat. Steve is done with his plate like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> minutes later, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm no still problem. eating. It's no a problem, big Ivana. Plate. We got the whole restaurant to ourselves. Eat and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, the meat is uh, in the body, not in the, yeah. in the legs. Well, I guess only one big leg anyway. Yes, the leg. I think there's a little bit of meat, but I'm too lazy to open it. The meat is in the body. I don't know how to eat this. When I eat crab, Forget about being a lady, you know. <laughs> You're this funny. The meat. You're funny. <laughs> Look at that. That's the meat. You can't eat crab and be a lady. <laughs> you cannot. How? <laughs> mm. Is it good? You're looking at trance. Oh wow! wow. It just melts in your mouth. Oh my god. This so, is so good. Okay. Amazing. Final review of the fish platter. Seafood platter, I should say. What is your favorite part? My favorite part is probably the shrimp. The shrimp is amazing. Amazing, it has the shrimp. amazing shrimp. And the crab is delicious. It's like butter melting your mouth. Mm. It's very creamy. There you have it. Yeah, it's very creamy. Five stars. Boom. Mm. Really nice. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. Mm. I told the, uh, the chef there, I said, uh, camel is very similar to beef. He goes, it's not exactly, but a little bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, I missed the flavor. But yeah. uh, in the end, our food was really good. And look at this restaurant. Beautiful. I mean, what a place to be. Beautiful. Beautiful. We can hang out here all day. We can hang out here all day, that's right. Yeah. With okay. our free uh, non-alcoholic wine. <laughs> Doing shots. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow. Sorry guys, wow. we forgot to get the Campbell ice cream. And so we're going for Turkish ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish dessert. Awesome, thanks. So, not exactly uh, traditional Emirati style or anything, but um, it looks so good. Okay. It looks very pistachio inspired. That's right. As well as this one has got ice cream inside of it. This Ooh. is my, my go-to right now. I will say this, special thank you to Chef Rene, who you guys know, our Malaysian friend from a couple of videos ago, and our new friend Robert uh, recommending this place. Hi Kiki. Hi Kiki. Hi Kiki. Hi Kiki. You see the name on the screen. Kiki, baklava, and Turkish, Turkish ice, ice cream. cream at City Walk Mall. Boom, you got it. <laughs> and this one actually has baklava with ice cream inside. That white part is ice cream. Have you ever tried a baklava before? Mm -mm. Your first time. So? <laughs> it's good. Look at this. Wow, it's very interesting. It looks very like unique. pastry on top with pistachios mm -hmm. and... It's a nice blend of sweet. Uh -huh and pastry. Sweet and oily. Oh. Really? Almost like sweet and savory. Um, it's quite sweet, but... Um, Let me try it. They give you a fork. No, 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 no. We don't use forks around here. For you. Oh, don't be shy. Look at it, guys. 
I'm telling you, having friends, international, different countries, is the gift that keeps on giving. Cheers. Special thanks to Chef Rene and Robert. Nice. This is so good, Ivana. This is gonna rock your socks off. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like pastry with ice cream with like sugar or honey on the bottom there. Right? Mm. 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 Good? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. It's a balance. Mm -hmm. It's cold and ice cream. It's dry from all the pastry and flaky. Cold and wet and flaky. It's sweet, savory. It's literally all things you want wrapped oh in one. God, so Problem is, I'm gonna be 400 pounds because we're gonna eat all of this. It's the best thing. Ever. I'd like to leave some behind and save it for later, but it's not gonna happen. No. Okay, this one's called pistachio roll. Look at this. <laughs> Reminds me of um, Quaker Tayap. Oh. That green kind of right, log right, right. from Malaysia. Except this is baklava. This is totally different. The only thing is, it's green and it's in a roll. That's the only similarity. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That looks like amazing. It looks kind of like matcha dessert. So rich. So flavorful. <laughs> you gotta finish this, Ivana. That is so good. Mmm. 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 That is really something you want to mm. So rich and thick. There is a fragrance in it. Mm -hmm. What is it? I think it's the pistachio. Mm. Mm. But nutty. It's very nutty and mm. very... It is. It's a treat. I think, a I think it's treat. actually, it's all pistachio. With like honey or something. Yep, you're right. Wow. Pistachio. By the way, pistachio, my favorite nuts. Is it true? Mm-hmm. Well, good time to eat baklava. Because this is all pistachio inspired. Wow. Go for that one, Ivana. Go for this one. This one. This one looks like a looks like a nut. Looks almost like a like a chestnut. Yeah. Look how they uh, have honey at the bottom. Mm. I've never I never knew baklava is so good. Like I've heard of it before, but I've never really tried it. I wonder if a Turkish person in Turkey would approve of this. We're obviously not in oh Turkey, but I think it's a hundred percent authentic. Whoa! <laughs> look at the inside. <gasps> This might be world class uh, baklava, even though mm. we're not in Turkey. The best. Amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. Wow. wow. So Five stars. we actually missed out on the camel ice cream, but actually, I think we did one better. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is better than camel ice cream. We'll try camel ice cream another time, but this is like heaven right now. Definitely five stars. Well, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Will amazing. we finish all of this? I think mm. we will. That's the grossest part. We're going to be the happiest, most fullest people ever. Yo, so good. Amazing. The one with the ice cream is my favorite. Me too. The okay, you have one and I'll have one okay. and we'll finish that. We'll share. We'll be friends. Mm. Baklava is the kind of food that makes you fight over the last piece. <laughs> yes, that's true. So good. Amazing. Mm. Amazing, amazing. Five awesome. stars. Awesome. Special thanks to Chef Renee. Yeah. Chef Renee and Robert and also the owner of Haikiki. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, guys. Boom.